So it's gonna be the second recovery with the Warren 16.5 Ti in 24 hours. Whoa, now I'm moving. In the last episode, we headed back into Utah, checked out a hidden lake at the Best Friends Animal Sanctuary, and now we're headed to Coral Pink Sand Dunes with the intention of riding some dirt bikes, but we find some trouble first. Coral Pink Sand Dunes, here we are. There they are. Wow, look, there's a parking lot right here with one dude in it. Could just go stay in there, but that's pretty lame. State Park, psych. <laughs> well, since we're here, let's check out these dunes, right? Might as well. Okay, let's go, go. Carry your momentum. Come on. <laughs> All right, well, that's beautiful, but kind of cold. Gloomy day, so we're just gonna find a camp spot as soon as Dakota stops smelling this one smell that she's apparently obsessed with. Come on, girl. <laughs> Head back up the road, find a spot. I don't know, it's tempting just to camp right here in this parking lot. Just go stay in there, but that's pretty lame. No, one, there's like nobody here. There's like one guy. And two, there's just the sickest riding area right here. And I mean, that's kind of why I came here is to ride, not really to wheel necessarily. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay here so I can just ride and then get out of here tomorrow. Firewood all over the ground, and there's a sign that says fire pan required. And I don't have a fire pan, because that's lame. <laughs> but you know what? I think I need a fire pan. All right, big storm coming through. Looks like it's uh, about to rain. I, I knew that was coming. I just didn't really tell you guys or plan for it. <laughs> Typical, right? But um, yeah, we're gonna just go back in the camper now. Get everything kind of set up. Come on, Cody girl. <sighs> Pop this top. Come on, it's raining, girl. We gotta go. So I didn't check the weather when I was coming here, and it's kind of rainy and gloomy and windy and shitty. So, uh, and I don't have service, so I'm gonna use my Garmin InReach Explorer to check the weather. This place is so beautiful. I don't want it to be rainy. I just want to go ride up there. But today, rainy. Yeah, weather and stuff. Hmm. Guess that's important. All right, let's look more into what it says today. Oh wow, we give we got. Look at this. Big updates. 9 a.m. It looks like it'll be sunny and cloudy. Well, I think this guy just got stuck in this big old Dodge with the trailer. So let's go see what's up. Okay, so they did get stuck, and they do need my help. So we're going over there. Using the Bubba rope, soft shackle. Okay, yeah, I'll uh... At all. I'm glad to be here for it. So, <laughs> girl, we I'm did it. And oh, geez, what am I doing? We got cookies. I already ate one. They gave me cookies, and I love cookies, obviously. And he said, if you're in Canab tonight, he's like, I'll buy you dinner. He's like, I'm serious, dude. Um, and I was like, Yeah, I'll probably staying out here, but I appreciate it. And I'm like, best thing you can do. Check out the channel, Down to Mob Overland, and I was like, I'll have a video of, of uh, me pulling you out in a couple weeks. <laughs> After our first recovery, we rode the dirt bike for a while, came back to the truck, and well, you'll never guess what we found in the parking lot again. <laughs> How you doing? 
good. You a little deep, a little deep, huh? A little soft. Yeah, it's crazy. Hi. Hey, hey, Kate, get out of there. Get out of there. Hey, I was just saying, I got a, a winch. I can pull you out if you need. I just pulled him out yesterday over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, he's unloading the razor. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you're not too deep yet. I just wanted to let you know, worst case, I'm here to help. <laughs> okay. Hey, okay. come on, Coda. Come here. Come here. Hey, don't go in there. Stay. How's it going? Oh, not bad. Yourself? Doing great. It's yeah. muddy out here, though, isn't it? I see that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Phil. Denny. Nice to meet you. Um, I got a winch if you need it. I pulled him out yesterday. Oh, so. did you? Yeah. Oh, um, uh, we'll dig, unload the razor and dig out. Yeah, you, you don't look, up. you don't look too far no, down. I didn't. I stopped before. I've been, been that deal before. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that was smart. Hey, get down. Well, I just want to stop by, let you know. Um, I can winch out if you need. I think if you end up, dig out and get everything unloaded. You don't look too bad right now, no. but hey, holler if you need my help, okay? okay appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Hey, come here, Coda. Come on. Hey. <laughs> Hey, come here. Hey, let's go. Come on. <laughs> All right, well, he's pretty confident he can get out and he is not that deep. He stopped before he got too deep, so. But hey. I always like to just let people know, don't freak out. Like, try to get out yourself, but I'm here to help. Hi, Bubba's. Are you just so excited? Yeah. Right, at this point, there's no doubt in my mind I'm gonna have to winch them out. I mean, unless they take the trailer off, but then how are they gonna get the trailer out? He hasn't aired down the tires, man. Yeah, backing out. That ain't gonna work. I'm honestly confused at this point. I've never offered help to pull somebody out, and they've like said no and struggled this much afterwards. I've literally got three ways that would get them out air down your tires, throw the max tracks down, hook a toe strap up, pull it out, regular old, old school freaking. Cummins Turbo D style. 16 and a half thousand pound Warren winch. It'll pull you out. I'm just confused. I literally, like, I think he thinks I'm just too young or like, he I totally wrote, just wants to get out by himself, which trust me, I get that. Is if this guy were here, uh, he would tell this guy that I pulled him out of over here yesterday. And that guy came back and chatted with the other guy, and that guy decided that he was ready for a recovery. Sorry, I'm really bad with names sometimes. All right, so we're gonna recover this guy. He's been stuck for about an hour and a half. Do another recovery today. Out here in this big fifth wheel. Okay, we got the bubble rope, soft shackle, factor 55. So it's gonna be the second recovery with the Warren 16.5 Ti in 24 hours in roughly the same spot. And not my truck. <laughs> Big rigs with trailers, baby. Whoa, now I'm moving. So we're gonna air down his tires because this is, he's just wheel spinning. He's, he's spinning too much, giving it too much gas, and then he's just going down more and we're not coming up out of this. So I'm gonna help air him down. Yeah, there you go. On it, on it, yeah! There you go, it's looking good! Woo! Nice. 
But don't get stuck again, dude. Where's he going? Oh, no, 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 no. That's super sandy over there. Oh, he's backing up. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what do we owe you there for that? Oh, bus? nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. Appreciate yeah. it? Yeah, of course. Of course. I she cooked you supper if you wanted to stay for supper. Oh, shoot. Set up. <laughs> yeah. I might consider that. Yeah, I, I don't know. If you, we'll see. I appreciate the offer, though. And yeah, yeah, I always... Sure. Always wanting to help for sure. And that's going to get you in trouble someday, Phil. Always wanting to help people who are already in trouble. Um, you probably didn't expect to hear me say something like that, but me editing this video right now here, I'm about a month after that last clip. Um, and as you know, I'm a little bit behind because... You know, it takes a lot of work to edit all these videos and compile the story, and I don't want you to miss anything. Um, anyways, watching this and, you know, kind of retelling this story and putting this story together comes at an interesting time for me. Because last weekend, let's just say I was uh, very scared at how stuck I was. Um, it took a lot of winch power and a lot of effort to get me out and I barely got out at that. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know what I'm talking about. If you're curious as to what I'm talking about and how stuck I got, that video will come in probably another month um, as I compile this whole story together for you. So many adventures I can barely keep up. Um, but yeah, if you're curious, head over to my Instagram. You can see all the pictures and a little story written out of uh, the events that took place last weekend. But uh, just to wrap it up for you, and I was talking to one of my friends, uh, YouTube content creator, on the road type friends, uh, Adventure Brad, as you guys know. Well, hey guys, Adventure Brad here. About this specifically, and about winching people out, and you know, he was like, man, a winch is not a get out of jail free card. And, and he had this whole new perspective to bring to the table. And for me, um, oh, my door is not latched. Eh, that's okay. For me, the past five years or so, I've been off-roading in my Jeep. And the winch was just, oh, you're stuck? Boom, winch, and boom, get out. Because the Jeep was pretty light. In a big rig like this, a winch is not an easy, like he says, get out of jail free card. And I, I just, I look at this video and I, I'm honestly astonished that I was in such a rush to pull out, uh, you know, a, a upwards of 25 to 30,000 pound uh, rig um, with my winch. To my credit, I hadn't used the winch until the day before that when I pulled the first guy out, the first Dodge. Um, so I, I did want to make sure it worked and I did want to see oh almost closed not quite I did want to see you know that that it did work, but One more thing I'll say as far as a lesson that I learned from you know watching this guy for example was um, He dug himself a lot deeper and it made the recovery a lot harder and you know, he really needed to air down his tires. That helped him out a lot. If he would have done that in the beginning and put something down to get traction, some wood or some max tracks ideally, he probably would have gotten out. Like, well, with max tracks, he would have gotten out right away, I believe. So blah, 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 blah. Learned a lot of lessons from that. I'll continue this story as we develop. Um, as you know, I like to share things with you that I'm passionate about and recoveries are something that I've got a whole new light on uh, with this rig and, and something that I'm taking a lot more seriously nowadays. Thank you so much for watching this little parking lot recovery. Uh, the next video will actually ride the dirt bike in the coral pink sand dunes. Can you believe it? Quite truly, I want to motivate you to get out there. And if you really think about it, the only question is, are you down to mob.